So let's talk about paperwork, right? We go out, we start shopping for a house. Um, technically, we are supposed to do paperwork first that explains agency. And that does happen sometimes, but a lot of people, they won't sign that right away. So I have to go with a piece of paper that explains what that is, like what are the options as far as how I can work for you on your behalf or not. Um, but once we get out and about, right, we call it it's dating, right? We're going to go date before we get married. This is very common. So we go out, we look at houses a few times. You decide that you like me and you want to continue to work with me. We get a whole bunch of paperwork done that hi that's you hiring me to work on your behalf, have fiduciary duty and agency to you or the other uh, agreements we could have. Um, but we'll just say that we're working on, you know, agency or transaction brokerage. And then we go shopping for the house and you know, sometimes we go out right and we find a house right away. We love it. We've gone out once, twice. Uh, we have to go back and do then a lot of paperwork because we have to do the paperwork that hires me and then we do all the contract stuff that is the actual contract to buy and sell real estate that is the you're the buyer you uh, want to purchase property x from the seller and all the things that go with that so um, it's a lot um, if you have a good concise realtor that explains things well probably between one and two hours minimum um, I tell everyone expect it to take a couple hours to do all of this. Um, if you're chatty, if I'm feeling chatty, if we have lots of questions, it can easily go two hours. But an hour to two hours to explain all the paperwork and get it done and hopefully get something submitted and you get under contract.